Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, find the LCM of two co-prime numbers if their product is 117. So what's the given question? You have to find out the LCM of two co-prime numbers. The product of the numbers is given 117. So here you have to know an important equation. HCF into LCM. What is HCF? Means highest common factor. LCM means lowest common multiple. So highest common factor of two numbers into the lowest common multiple of the same two numbers will be equal to product of the numbers. If you are taking any two numbers A and B, suppose you are taking two numbers A and B. So the HCF of a and B into LCM of A and B is equal to A into B. The product of A and B will be equal to the highest common factor of A and B multiplied with the lowest common multiple of A and B. So that is the first important equation you have to know for solving these kind of questions. So here the LCM is what you have to find out. What is the lowest common multiple of two numbers? The product is already given. It is 117. So an important Dame is here co-prime. What do you mean by co-prime? Co-prime or relatively prime. So there are two names co-prime or we can say relatively prime. So two numbers are said to be co-prime or relatively prime if their highest common factor is equal to 1. Their highest common factor or their greatest common divisor GCD, GCD or HCF is equal to 1 or they are not having any common divisor other than 1. So, give an example of two co-prime numbers. You can say 3 and 4. 3 and 4 forms a pair of co-prime numbers. 3 and 4 are not having any divisor in common other than 1. So, likewise many examples are there. So, 7 and 9. So, likewise the list goes on. So, here what will be the HCF of the co-prime numbers? It will be equal to 1. The highest common factor of the co-prime numbers is equal to 1. So, what will be the LCM here? LCM will be equal to product of the numbers. Red CF is equal to 1. So, LCM will be equal to product of the numbers which is given as 170. So, here you got two concepts from this question. The first one is HCF of two numbers into LCM of the same two numbers is equal to the product of the numbers. Second concept is what do you mean by co-prime numbers? Co-prime numbers or relatively prime, relatively prime numbers means they are not having any other factor other than 1. They are not having any common factor other than 1 or simply saying the highest common factor for the co-prime numbers is equal to 1. Now question number now question number 2 find all number pairs such that their HCF is 13 and their product is 2028. So you have to find out all two numbers. The two numbers you have to find out all the number pair you have to find out so that their HCF is 13 and their product is 2028. So HCF is 13 means what is the meaning? The two numbers will be multiples of 13. The given two numbers should be multiples of 13. So let us take let the numbers let the numbers be equal to 13A and 13b okay you are just taking two numbers 13a and 13b so a is one some uh, natural number from 1 to x 1 to infinity and b is also one another number both are multiples of 13 then only you will be getting the highest common factor is equal to 13 so you are taking the numbers as 13a and 13b the product is already given so 13a into 13b is equal to 2028 the product of the numbers is given. So, 169 AB is equal to 2028. So, you will be getting AB is equal to 16. Oh, sorry, AB is equal to 12. Sorry, 2028 divided by 169 which gives you 12. So, now you are having the product AB is equal to 12. So, now you, are, you want to find out the values of A and B. So, what you have to do is that you have to find out the pair of co-prime numbers whose product is equal to 12. You know what is meant by co-prime. Co-prime means they should not have any common factor other than 1. 1 is a common factor for all the pair of numbers. Any pair of numbers you take, 1 will be the common factor. So you have to take two numbers in such a way that their common factor is only 1 and their product is 12. So let's take from first. So 12 into 1 is equal to 12. So 12 1 is a pair. 12 and 1 are having only 
1 as the factor. So, 1 as the common factor. So, 12, 1 is a pair. Next is 2 into 6 is equal to 12. But 2 and 6 are not co-prime numbers. The HCF of 2 and 6 is equal to 2. 6 is also divisible by 2. 2 is also divisible by 2. So, the highest common factor of 6 and 2 is 2. So, they are not co-prime numbers. So, you cannot take 2 and 6 as the number pair in this question. So, next is 3 into 4 is equal to 12. And 3 and 4 are not having any other common factor other than 1. So, you can take 3 and 4 are co-prime numbers. So, your next number pair will be 3, 4. So, 12, 1 is one number pair possible and 3, 4 is the second number pair possible. So, apart from this, we cannot get the product 12. Only these three combinations are there. So, from that you selected the combinations of co-prime numbers. So, 12, 1 is one combination, 3, 4 is the second combination. So, your possible values of A, B, the possible values of A, B is equal to either 12, 1 will be possible or 3, 4 will be possible. So, what will be your numbers, corresponding numbers will be 13 into 12 and 13 into 1. So, that is the first number pair possible whose highest common factor is equal to 13 and whose product is 2028. So, the next pair is 3 into 13 and 4 into 13. So, what will be your answer? 156, 13 is one pair whose highest common factor is equal to 13 and whose product is 2028 and the second pair is 39 and 52. For this pair also, you are having 13 as the highest common factor and 2028 is the product. So, this is the procedure for finding the number pairs. You have to take the co-prime numbers whose product is 12. So, there, there also the concept of co-prime is coming. So, it is very important that you understand the concept of co-prime. What is co-prime? What is HCF? What is LCM? And HCF into LCM is equal to product of the numbers. So, these are the main concepts here. Now, one more question. Find the number of pairs of numbers such that the sum of numbers is 528 and HCF is 33. So, how many pair of numbers will be there whose sum is 528 and the highest common factor is 33? So, here how to do? Let the numbers be equal to 33A. HCF is given. So, both the numbers should be a multiple of 33. So, so the numbers be equal to 33A and 33B. So, what you are having? 33A plus 33B is equal to 528. It is given that the sum of the numbers is equal to 528. So, you will be getting A plus B is equal to 528 divided by 33 which gives you 16. So, A plus B is equal to 16. So, just like the previous question, you have to find out the co-prime number pairs such that the sum is equal to 16. In the previous question, you took the product. The product of the co-prime numbers should be equal to 12. Here, the sum of the co-prime numbers should be equal to 16. So, what are the different uh, possible values? 15 and 1. 15 plus 1 is equal to 16. So, 15 and 1 are co-prime numbers. So, you will be getting 15, 1. Then 14 plus 2 is equal to 16. But 14 and 2 are not co-prime numbers. Their highest common factor is equal to 2. So, you cannot take that factor. Next is 13 plus 3 is equal to 16. Yes, 13 and 3 are co-prime numbers. So, you can take that 13, 3. The next is 12 plus 4 is equal to 16. You cannot take 12 and 4 are not co-prime numbers. The next will be 11 plus 5 is equal to 16. Yes, 11 and 5 are co-prime numbers. So, you can take that also. Then 10 plus 6 is equal to 16. You cannot take the 9 plus 7 is equal to 16. 9 and 7 are co-prime numbers. So, that also you can take. And 8 plus 8 is equal to 16. 8 and 8 are not co-prime numbers. 8 is the common factor. So, that also you cannot take. After that, the inverse of this will come. 7 and 9, then 5 and 11, 6 and 8. Like that it will be repeating. 6 and 10, like that it will be repeating. So, 8 plus 8, that is the last value you, you have to consider. 8 into 2 is equal to 16. So, up to 8 and 8, if you are taking means, you will be getting all the sums possible. So, what are the, now how many number pairs are available? 15, 1, 13, 3, 11, 5 and 9, 7. So, the different values possible will be 33 into 15 
and 33 into 1 that will be the one number pair possible whose product whose sum is equal to 528 and whose highest common factor is equal to 33. Next number pair possible will be 33 into 13 and 33 into 3. Next one will be 33 into 11 and 33 into 5 and your last number pair possible will be 33 into 9 and 33 into 7. So for number pairs are possible where the sum of the numbers is equal to 528 and the highest common factor is 33. Thank you for watching.